Hey guys, welcome back to Manikoro Custom Guitars. And today I have something unusual for you. It's not guitar related, but still is CNC related. As you know from the title, today I'm going to try and increase some speed in my homemade CNC. So let's roll the intro and we can begin. So this is my home built CNC. For more details you can find a link up here for a dedicated video. But today I just want to talk about feed rates, well cutting feed rates. Now with my current setup my safest cutting feed rate is around 1400 millimeters per minute which in inches there are like 57 inches per minute. When I say safest cutting feed rate is exactly the limit until the motor, the stepper motors start to stall. Now, if you're into CNC, you know that stepper motors are good accurate, they hold a lot of torque, but when it comes to speed, they're kind of limited. They can go fast, but to the extent to its torque. In fact, the more speed they're running the less torque they have. As I said, my current setup is around 1400, which is safe for me to cut. If I increase the speed to around 2000 millimeters per minute, it is faster, but if I apply a little pressure on the ball screw, the stepper motor stops and I lose steps and, and stuff and ugly stuff. You don't want that to happen. Some time ago I saw a video on Highline Guitars channel and he was saying about his feed rates and cutting feed rates and he was mentioning that he was cutting around 80 inches per minute, even 150 inches per minute, which is normal, to be honest, really normal. In fact, I have tools that, I have bits that really, their minimum cutting feed rate is around 2000 millimeters per minute. And with this machine at this current state, I don't have it. So, well, got me a bit confused and I went to Google to start to search if it's possible in a way to how to increase um, some speed and torque of the stepper motors. And I discovered that the more voltage that I have on the stepper motor drivers, the more faster and more torque there is on the stepper motor themselves. At the moment my drivers have, well they're rated for between 18 volts and 50 volts and I have a 34 volts supply on them. But I really wanted to find a 50 volt power supply so I can try and increase the speed. I couldn't find one, I found a 48 volts close enough. So that's what I'm going to do today. So this is my CNC control box. As you can see, it's a PC case which I converted it so everything fits nice and tight. Up here I have the three stepper motor drivers, which are the DM542A. And as I said, they take uh, the ranges between 18 volts and 50 volts DC to them. Underneath I have the DB25 breakout board. And underneath I have the two power supplies. The, this one is a PC power supply which I converted so I have various 5 and 12 volts. I have one 5 volts which goes directly to the breakout board. I really don't like that the breakout board takes power, takes power from the PC because sometimes uh, the 5 volts from a USB is not really 
that constant. So having a direct 5 volt supply, it really makes everything safer. And here I have the power supply for the breakout board. As I said, this is a 36 volt and I'm going to swap this power supply for a one of 48 volts. So let's give this thing a good clean, swap that power supply and see if it's a failure or a success. Everything is so tight, it really makes it difficult to work on it. But. So this is the new power supply, which is surprisingly a bit smaller than the old one. Even the connections are at a different angle, which will make it more difficult to install, because obviously we need to adjust some wiring length. Fortunately they are the same. It's a bit shorter actually, which makes it better. Now, So most probably I will drill and tap the holes at the back so I can screw it as the one was before. Okay guys, so this is taking more than I was expecting, so let me arrange this into that, and again, and I get back to you. 
Okay guys, I have everything connected, everything is on, CNC. It's live. And I have the machine set up for, for the feed rate for 2200 millimeters per minute. And well, it's much more faster, of course, but the most important Apply pressure to the ball screw doesn't really stop. It's a big improvement from the previous power supply, so I can say that this modding, this swapping, this power supply swapping was a great success. I can go up to 2.5 much more faster five hundred much faster of course by apply pressure doesn't stop obviously if I hold the ball screw it stops but as i said it's a big improvement from before okay guys so that's it for today i hope you liked it and enjoyed it and maybe learned something from it if you're new to this channel and you're enjoying my content please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be aware about my future releases and to the new viewers and to the old ones take care and goodbye